What is happening, beautiful gamers? Blank here, and welcome back to the sequel of one of the greatest Metroidvanias that has ever been released, Blasmus, with Blasmus 2. And now we can open up the inventory or the map, and we're gonna be starting on this area. I know they say, we said we're gonna be checking this over here, but this is, we don't have the power for it, like, our jump doesn't reach. I already tried it, so it's not gonna happen. So instead, we're gonna be exploring the right and see what's up, and then after we have cleared whatever it is in here, then we can actually go for the main mission. I don't know, I'm pretty sure that considering how Blasphemous is, these are not optional stuff to do. Like, all of this is something that we would have to do one way or the other. But, 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 all things considered, it doesn't, it's not like it really matters. Uh, and yet, this right here, it's pretty obvious that that is a section that for you to reach, it's gonna have to be something crazy, like, you wait for the enemies to stand up, you double jump, do that, and it's something that allows you to, like, stay in there for a little bit longer, something like that. Street of Wakes. What the? That's not good. Okay, that's fine, but... What the fuck are you doing, bro? I mean, I'm okay fighting enemies as long as they die. And you don't seem to want to die. Yeah, bye-bye. Those guys are gonna be a little bit annoying, so we're gonna have to fight him with this. Just because of the ability of, like, the double hit, and that way you can, yeah, kill them faster. There you go. Weird place. What the fuck, lady? Yeah, that lady, crazy. Whoa! What the fuck? Wait, she gave me a mark. That's fine. But Jesus, that lady. What the? Yo, lady. Oh my god, there's more of them. Okay, we're gonna have to use this power against her. Jesus, lady. Who created you? Who hurt you? Who did anything to you? Please tell me, because if somebody did something to you, it's personal. I'm not gonna let them do more damage to you. So that way you can do more damage to me? No, thank you. Uh, that, that, that hammer did do good damage. Okay. Let us explore the top. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not, that's what I was talking about. Maybe, maybe if you do something like this. Yeah, no, you cannot really reach. Oh, but can you, can you do something like, just, you can always do that. No, no. Okay. We're gonna have to put a mark in here. Uh, this mark in here is gonna be an incognito sign. That means that we're missing a power to be able to trigger it. That's perfectly fine. Don't give me another crazy lady. Uh, we're gonna have to use this. And then goodbye. I kind of like how the stone is becoming a little bit stronger. And this section here is a little bit too strange, if I gotta be honest. Like, I don't know, the way that it plays is really weird. But we have a teleporter, so it doesn't matter. Okay. So with this teleporter, we can go whatever. We can just teleport all the way back. It should be fine. Just a really weird section, if I gotta be honest. So we have to explore things at the bottom and things at the top. Oh, there you go. We have a preview. So we're going to start by exploring the bottom. Uh, we're going to start... If I got to be honest, this is going to connect. So probably... Unless it goes down, we're going to explore the left. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Uh, what the fuck? I swear to God with this game. We can tag to hit. The door is locked. So we have to speak with the finger. Yo, finger, what's up? And for your thirst... I am water, for your cold fire. Oh, make way for he who does not yet know me, who has not yet kissed me. What a narcissistic bastard you are. If I was able to clap your cheeks, I would, but I don't think you have cheeks. Parishioner, you come seeking mine own sweet blessing. Kneel down. 
and place your lips on my holy sanctity. Fuck that. Go for it. Give it a kiss. Give it a nice suck suck. Valoris, feel how my grace fills thee with joy. I alone am thy refuge. I alone am thy comfort. Blessed are those who venerate me, for they will feel my favor, the favor of holiness itself. Ah, uh, yeah, yes. Wait, did it increase my? Hello, yeah, thank you. Can I give you more? Feel your further exude from every fissure of your armor and rejoice, mine own penitent one. I shall continue to assist you if you grant me your kisses. I mean, by 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 all means. You want more kisses? Do we have more? I don't think we have more kisses. We have scrolls, and we have cloth, and we have the unfinished lullaby. I thought we had two unfinished lullaby. No. Okay. So now we have to find somebody to give the chalices and things like that. Probably the chalices are going to increase my max health. Do you guys think that this section is going to have those things? Like to increase oh and probably after enough he says he opens up that door. What the fuck? This is probably gonna increase my max health. I I I I know it. May those who seek seclusion enter. What in the 27 fucks is this? This is what I love about Blasphemous. It's so fucking weird. You're, you're not even... Okay, what's up? Miracle. Thee who possess the keys to open all things. And the hands to lock them. Welcome, thine servant. Penitent one. Thee who comest in search of the morning behind our black veils. Find my daughters, and snuff out the light of the candles that accompany them. Only then will you be able to enter into their morning. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, but sure, if I find a weird old lady just like you, then I'll make sure to take care of them. So these ladies are different than the ladies that we're saving for the nun that is upstairs with the one eye. Hello? Who are you? Who are you, beautiful lady? Are you a friend or a foe? Probably friend. When darkness descends on my tiles, my lanterns awaken. It is their light that protects us in this shadowy corner full of old rosaries. My name is Sagrario. Knotting rosaries is my penance. Let's go! But now you're called Sagrario. You know, Soledad was cooler. Just say it. And I cannot serve a more virtuous cause than thine own, penitent one. If you give me the knots, I shall increase the mysteries of your rosary, so that they might fill thee with consolation. Do you have rosary knots, penitent Ye one? Yes, I do, and I'll give them all to you, thank you. Now, let my hands knot a new mystery on your rosary. Treasures yet another mystery. You see that detail? I think you're gonna give her rosaries, and it's only five. So once she's done with all the rosaries, I wonder what's gonna happen. Do you have rosary now? Let my. And then the second one is gonna disappear. Yep. It's five Your mysteries, so it's it's great. We don't have any more rosaries, but then we know that there is five. I like that detail a lot. We're going to increase our physical damage. Yes, please. Then we're going to increase the martyrdom points. Not really. 
Resistance to fire damage sounds good. We, we, we can decide which ones to equip. But we're going to be putting these two because why not? That way we can have everything and we can increase our defense too. That's fantastic. We still got to get some things to that guy. And I think the powers are fine. This is a weirdly... A really weird section. Could not have reached this before. Even if you wanted to. And this one keeps going up. My guess would be that, yeah, you have to like have that power. Okay, that's fine. Why are you so annoying? Like, can you just stay... Can you just please stay dead? It would be awesome. Nice. It would be really cool if you just stay down and leave me alone. Whatever. Now we gotta deal with this lady, which we honestly don't like. Uh, that's bad because she saw me already. This is fine. Okay, this is okay. Let her do his, her things. Double jump behind her and goodbye. Beautiful. Give me my heal. Oh, now this little shit, he probably can attack, yeah, he can attack the ground where I'm at. So he's really dangerous. Yeah, the cannot, cannot be using that power, he's gonna end up killing me. Gotta have to use this one over here. For some reason, I miss the Blasphemous Blade, if I gotta be honest. So I wonder if the game, or if, if Blasphemous is gonna actually... Allow me to, like, get that thing once again. Because I do I do miss the Blasphemous Blade. Don't get me wrong. For such, a, such a great weapon. Uh, let's get out of here. He's gonna kill me. Uh, from here, do I want to go to the top or to the bottom? Uh, it seems like there's some enemies. Let's go through the bottom. For Bye! Hey, hello. I'll take this. Marks of Martyrdom, just Tears of a Torment. Okay, that's fine. Uh, this have a, this gives me some vibes. Shit. No, no. That way from me, kid. Oh, that thing is the one trying to fight me. That's fine. I mean, they are not the worst. Not the best. But at the same time, easy enemies to deal with. No! Wow, what the fuck? Can you please come closer? Are you gonna get stun locked? Because if that's the case, I'm fine. A little bit closer. No. Fine. Wait, what is this section? Oh wait, we could have explored the- Oh my god. I need to explore that both a little bit more before doing this. Yeah, are you gonna get closer to me? Ah, uh, not really. And yeah, you cannot really go higher, so that's fine. Just wanted to make sure. Those enemies are weird. They get stunned in those walls because of the... Their hitboxes are really strange. They cannot, like, get locked. That's fine. Uh, shoot at me. Beautiful. I don't really like this hammer power anymore. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be changing that for the fireball. No, not that one. This one. Like the difference in power between one and the other is so big. What the fuck? Give me this. Again, I, I do not know what's the point of getting it back since you don't really recover your guild. That's fine. I just want to kill this thing. Beautiful. That's nice. Kill it. Now we can heal up. And we have that thing on the top that we have to trigger. Which we probably can. Shouldn't be too hard. 
Uh, oh, that's gonna be tricky. I, I know what I have to do, but that's gonna be really tricky. It's gonna be cool, though, but it's gonna be really tricky, and we want it. So we're gonna be doing it. Uh, trigger it again. We're gonna have to, like, hit it, jump, and then start hitting. Okay. Wait, can you... Huh. Oh, we probably have to hit vertically or diagonally. Let's try one more time. But we know what needs to be done. It's just going to be really tricky. Like. Oh, wait. Can you double jump when you use that power? I'm going to check it out. If not, then we're going to have to mark it because we, re we don't have the dash. And we know what we need to do. It's just that. Yeah, you can only do one jump. So we're gonna have to mark this over here as a treasure for the for the dash ability, which we don't have. All right, and then from here, yeah, this is probably gonna be connecting to the top. Let's go to the bottom. Secrets over here, no secrets. We're almost good. We should be fine. In what the? Penitent one, this is no place for anyone. Can you not see that death breathes the very air that dries our throats? That it walks in our footsteps? Everybody in this fucking game is so dramatic, I swear to God. It is like all you need to do is take it easy and move on with your life. You cannot even hear the cries for the dead. For here, even crying is forbidden. I will remain in the shadows, sheltering behind these bars, so you cannot look upon my diseased countenance. But although no one has ever managed to find out who he really is, I can reveal to you a name. Casto. How ominous that name sounds when spoken in these shadowy enclaves. I may have something for you. If so, be sure to take it and go. Oh, he has a shop. <gasps> Hello, and we can buy multiple stuff. So we can increase the strength of uh, Regal Alba, which is yes, yes, please. He has a crimson disc, so it's gonna be expensive. But we're gonna have to buy this too. I don't have money for the last one. That's okay. I hope I didn't spend too much. Go now. Thank you. Uh, he also said I something about chat. Something. Oh, just a chat. Do you not notice how death enfolds us? It is my prison. What sins did I commit? To merit such a heavy penance. He was repeating the sentence. I don't know if he said this before, but the first sentence was repeated. Nothing special. So in the shop, we only have 7,000. We want nothing. That's fine. We know that we can buy multiple stuff, and now we have the crimson disc among the ground that inflicts a mystical damage. How, how does this work? We don't have enough to use it, but we have to remove our penance and things like that. And I'm pretty happy that we got the statue for Fuego Lava. That means that we are gonna do so much damage now. This thing is alive. Okay. That's fine, but I need you all to die. Let's go. One of them is down. That's beautiful. I need you to die too, please. Stay away from me. Come on, weirdo. Okay, that weirdo is just locked in there, so goodbye. The reason why I needed to kill it, give me the Tears of a Torment. I worked so hard that I just wanted it. That's the only bug that I'm seeing in this game that is a little bit strange, which is those enemies. That's I think that's the first bug that I've encountered in this game. And of course, yep, I remember this area. We get the Embossed Rat Skull, which is probably a rosary bit, yes. Increases the Marthidon points That's awesome. That's sick. And then from here, we're gonna go up, 
get the safe, check out this area. We can even jump in here, so maybe let's verify that. And then we still gotta, I know that we still gotta like, proceed through the main quest and ask them what's up. And we will. Don't get me wrong. Don't think that we won't. I don't know if you guys noticed, but our damage is incredible. Like, we are doing like double the amount of damage that we were before. Cannot do that jump, but we can definitely do it inside, yes? I need you to die, please. Bye, bye, thank you. There you go. Now we have the Pilgrim, another one of the little statues. With that one done, we can open up the map. This one has been cleansed. We can check stuff here if we want to, and we probably should. Yeah, so let's let's do that. Let's make this episode all about like retracing our steps and taking a look at what's missing and what's not and yada yada yada. That way we can just that way we can just have a kind of like a clean slate and then depending on how long it is, we can decide whether or not we're gonna be moving forward with the next. There's more things in here to explore, right? So we're gonna be checking this area here, this area here, and once those two are, I think this one cannot be triggered, but we'll see. I thought I parried it, so that's a little bit unfortunate on my end. I guess sometimes parries don't work the way that you want them. Uh, gotta check the section up above. Yes. Beautiful. And from here, the first sister. Let's go. So I don't know how many of them we have to trigger, but that's one. And that's great. And I'll take it. Was kind of worth it, in my opinion. Give me a rest. We can travel to the city whenever we want. That's not a problem. And yeah, I do want to go all the way to the top, which we cannot do. So since we cannot do that section, then all we're going to do is go back here. Take a look at this area over here that we were not able to access before. I think we still won't be able to access it. And then we're going to go back. Bye. Yeah, you cannot reach that. I thought we were going to be able to reach it out with, like, um, like our hammer. But that doesn't really give you an answer. Because the hammer, the little electri electrical hammer, Thor hammer that we have, doesn't have that much range. It would be awesome, too, if you could, like... Wait, what is that? Why didn't we get that before? Ah, oh, because we didn't have this, but now we do. Uh, yeah, this would be a pretty big jump, which is fine. Uh, that's not hard. Yo, wait, wait a second. Give me one second, okay? One, two, ah. That's it. There you go. Free items are always the best. Especially if it is Marks of Martyrdom. Or... Tears of a Tournament. More than 800? I'll take it. Whenever whenever the game wants to give you like 10 or something, like 800, it's it's kind of like useless. You sit down in a position where it is like, why is this so garbage? But when the game gives you 2,000, that's, that's a lot of enemies. That's like 20 enemies that you have to kill. It's still not the best and not like, oh yeah, it's super worth it, but hey, it's, it's still pretty good. Did you just slap me, asshole? Um, heal up. From here, we want to go inside and all the way to the top. Yeah. Need to learn how to read their moves a little bit better so that way we know when they're going to attack versus when they're going to throw their lances at us. Did we just send him flying? Like, he was just jumping around doing his Cirque du Soleil moves and then suddenly was like, Yeah, no, sit down, son. Again, double jumping here, it doesn't really help. And yeah, we were not able to do... Well, yeah, we, we can definitely... Oh, we were not able to do this before, gotcha. 
And then we have an item. That's what I'm talking about. Probably there's gonna be a gauntlet, so let's see what happens. Yep, gauntlet, that's fine. Yeah, little enemies like you guys are not really that strong to like try to fight me. Yep. Ah, oh, jeez, that's annoying. It's one of the big ones, and this one uses me a massa to his advantage. Look at this. That's some little damage, nothing too crazy. Goodbye. And we got... What did you give me? Mark of Martyrdom. Okay, so... It's kinda cool. Nothing special, but it's still pretty cool. So we got it, and if we open up our map... Then we're pretty much done with this area. Now we can go back, finish up our shops, and... Well, I mean, we're pretty much done with... With this section, finally. Sometimes you gotta take opportunities to retrace your steps. Finish up some of the quests. Now we can speak with the... Uh, donation box lady and see what she's gonna have to say to us maybe she'll give us something nice next time maybe she decide to be friendly and be like yeah you know what you, you're right you cannot deserve a little bit more than just nothing so I'll give it to you bye oh, and here we are let's go give me yep oh no stand up we we have to we're gonna go through this door we're gonna explore this shop. We gotta jump, double jump here. We, we we have more things that we can do in this area now, so. And then from here, probably... What is it that we needed to do here? Yeah, we cannot really... Okay, we can, I believe. Okay, um... I am pretty sure that we should... We are not able to. This, this looks really... Like the fact that we cannot reach it out. What is the reason? Because, yeah, we can do all of this and that's fine. And then we can trigger this elevator. But this one is probably gonna take me here, which I don't really know if I wanna go there yet. I need to explore things first. And then there's a baby over there, which we can take care of pretty easily. All you need to do is equip the correct power. Double jump. There you go. And then from here, uh, we have to do two things. First of all, let's go inside. Let's have a conversation with this person. Let's see if she has anything to sell. You point. A window time of performing a block. That's really good. Recovers health. Regenerates. Wait, reduces penalties. No, that's not... Fair, that, that I don't care. Fairboard generated, that's really good. And increases the damage of prayers. Both are fantastic. Resistance to lightning. Resistance to mythical. And this one is the, lip, the sleepless one will arise from one in need. The wax seed. That's weird. And the marks of martyrdom, which you can actually buy. You know, I don't know how to feel about that. They're really expensive. So, nothing here is of interest. It, it, sounds, like, it sounds like they're overpriced. I'm just saying. Like, I'm not much for bargaining. You, you, you are really overpriced. And where is the priest? This is blood. This is an area, okay. There was... Where is the priest? Is it... Oh, is it here? This guy? Let's check below. Oh, this one? Why is it that we were not able to access it? Because it has to be from the other side. This sounds strange. Maybe, oh, maybe those doors are like... We have found a couple of them. Maybe those doors are just doors that you open differently. It's not about... It's not about the... How do you call this? It has nothing to do with the bell. It has to do with something else. Tribute to honor. How much do you want? To honor. Yeah, sure. You will now refill- Yes! Perfect. Anything else that you can talk to me about? Find sisters. So she's telling me that we don't have enough sisters. Okay, well, now we have to speak with the guy that is doing the sculpture. Uh, let's go down for it. 
you don't need to foul. They're fine. Let's do our guild removal because we have way too much. You know, I'm honestly speaking kind of like weirded out about how much guild do we have. We have died quite a little bit. So it's impressive. Do you wish to purge yourself of your guilt? 3,000, sure. So be it. Holy the shit! Has been completed. Your guilt has been purged, but will remain my eternal burden, for that is my appointed purpose. Now go in peace. I mean, I appreciate your hard work and dedication. But sure, I mean, look at that. We went from having like no guilt to like 1,000% guilt. So that's incredible. And then, do we have any flasks that we can give to the lady? It seems like no, but we have the chalices. And I do think that this is probably a place for chalices too. So let's let's pick with this guy. Let's do some investments. Then let's go down. Let's make other investments. Can we reach that? No, cannot. And how do you even do that then? Maybe a double jump from the other side? There you go. There is another baby that we need to grab. That's fine. And what is this? Silver clad crystal shard. Increases my sharp damage, maybe? Piece of mirror is a sharp point that can mark the silver on other crystals. Okay. No, no. There you go. And then double jump is not gonna work in there, unfortunately. And I'm probably from the inside, maybe. I, I would I would have to guess that at some point he's gonna trigger something, or maybe we're gonna have to jump down. Anyways, let me give you more tools. Frey, how can I assist the penitent one? Ah, uh, here you go, another tool. This gouge, as precise as it is delicate is unquestionably the most suited to this noble wood. Know that you have my gratitude, Penitent One. Now, I was when you do things May like that, hands you're gonna exit, let's just rest up and come back. I do not know if that's how it works in this game, but it should like have some effect. Are my pre juice becoming bigger? I believe so. Yeah, it, it, it's that way bigger. So that's actually pretty nice. Let's speak with him again. I feel divine hands guiding my own in a heavenly struggle of monumental virtue and mute joy. The figure of the most blessed lady is beginning to emerge. Uh, that's fine. We cannot give him any mementos, right? Yeah. So we can increase my capacity, which I will. Yes. The altarpiece on your back now has more capacity. Here, I will wait for you until you gather more marks of martyrdom to extend your altarpiece. I feel like those are going to be really key, but before that, let's open and let's see what we can get. So we can increase our fire damage, which is fantastic. Um, no, this one here, what is that? Reduces verdadera distress, distress a loss when he... That's good. That's good. The punished one. We are going to equip this one. It's just too good. 15% extra damage. Just too fantastic. And let's see if anything else that I missed. Increase the chances of critical hits when using prayers. No interest on, on you. Okay, so we don't have to invest anything right now. We are pretty much good. The rest of the things are not that impressive. And we can increase how many are you going to charge you? Probably four. Three. So it increases by one every time. That's not bad. May the hands. Then after that, just for you guys, we're gonna be doing a little bit of adjustments here. We can do a little bit of power. First of all, we need to improve this block path. It's it's mandatory, like we have to. And then I wanna go for this because I wanna take a look at this too. But the mythical damage inflicted is gonna be so key. We need two for this. Okay, we're becoming stronger. That's great. That's great. Now, after doing all of that, uh, we cannot go from this to this top area, but we're going to explore the blood section. Let's see what the blood lady has to say. We have some chalices that we can invest. Maybe she will the one dealing with the chalices. Maybe she won't. Because she does. She takes my... Uh, 
empty vials, but I do not know if she takes anything else. It would it would seem like she wanted she 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 would have to give me something else. I don't know. You can do a sacrifice? Yeah. Is her hand different? What the fuck? Has her hand always been like this? Like with the... What the fuck? Oh, I can give it to her. With this crystal, I mark and imbue thy flasks with silver and bile. So now my flasks heal for more? Yes. Now can I give Only you more? the miracle shall know how many crystals have been bathed in its grace. Yes. Now I shall enhance the vital light within thee. Let's go. I shall wait for thee to bring me. So I have more. Oh, you can give her multiple things. Okay, I have three. Yes. Now I shall enhance the vital light within thee. I shall wait for thee. Bring me chalices and vials. There you go. So now probably by the time we come back, she's gonna be even uglier. Like it's it's just just like everything in this game. Whenever you guys remember Nacimiento, like you give him stuff, he improves you, and then she becomes. Oh God, Jesus! Oh, oh, oh! For fuck's sake, take it easy. Anyways, uh. <laughs> With all of that done, we do have a couple of things pending. Like, we have some lullabies that we need to deliver. We don't do anything with that. The Cloth of the Old Woman. That's also interesting. Probably need to give it to somebody. This is cool. We have three rel two relics that are missing. So we're missing that. I, I see that we have 11 out of 40 marks of Martidon. I don't know if it is that you get them or... Because they say, oh, if you kill enemies, it happens. And then we have something called Immaculatis, which I do not know what that is about. Honestly speaking, out of everything, I think Quick Versus is like the best weapon that you have now or damage. Or weapon is just going to do so much damage that nothing really matters. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool that we have been delivering everything. Uh, out of the world that we have unlocked, there are multiple areas that we could visit if we want to. But I believe that we are at a point where I think it's time for us to explore this section up above. And then we probably have to retrace our steps to these chests just to see what's going on. But as of right now, I think this is a great place to wrap things up. Next episode, we might have a little bit more action. I think that, well, to be honest, this episode was mostly needed. Just look at our health. It doubled in one episode, which is fantastic. And also our flasks are going to heal for more. We don't have any empty vials, which is the thing that worries me about the most. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. Thanks a lot for watching as always, guys. And on that note, my boy and I say, see you guys in the next one.